hear me we got more preachers in the pulpit that have pledged their allegiance to Omega Sci-Fi to Alpha Kappa Alpha they can step they ain't spiritual they got all the moves can't cast out a devil I remember first reading the story when Jesus went through the temple and began to drive the money changers those who buying and selling with the whip kicking over tables i remember first reading that and thinking to myself god why do i feel the urge or the need to do the same thing and i was talking in the same way that jesus do it did it the same way he did it kicking over tables slinging whips and driving people out i felt that same thing inside of me god was like bro chill out i placed that in you spiritually to do not physically that representation of what you read in the bible of christ doing that he did it physically giving us a spiritual revelation of what some people are called to do and we must remove the idols, not from the mere physical building, but from within. The lust, the overze overzealous attitude, the covetousness, the me better than you, selfishness, we must drive those things out of us drive those fleshly desires out of us no matter what it is from adultery homosexuality transgenderism to alcoholism to drug addictions to bitterness to rage to anger to strife drive those things from within out Begin to make war with yourself, with your flesh. Make war even to the point it hurts. So that when you drive those things out of you, you may see clearly to drive those things out of the church. Whether it be false God worship, whether it be man worship, whether it be man centered, whether it be prosperity in the aspect of overdoing it everything is about me my money wealth and all this you will see clearly to pray and not only pray pray for instructions and direction on what and how to say it pray without ceasing but still drive the idols out and I know it's a hard topic because you have so many people in so many different walks of life that come to the body and people are carrying so many different bags or baggage and it's hard to let go. But the power of the Holy Spirit would begin to work in the new believer or even the unbeliever whose who's curiosity has driven them or even their pain and struggle has driven them to the doors of the church. Once they're in, then we can't lead them to us. We must lead them to the one who is working on us and driving those things out of us because we have surrendered to his will to do that. We're no longer ours. We're no longer our own. And we must begin to teach people that when you come to Christ, you are no longer your own. So me, mine, I has to die. At the end of the day, drive the idols out, no matter what it is, no matter what organization, group you didn't joined up with. And I'm going to say this and I'm done. I believe we are at a point and coming to a point to where Christian 
Christ-like will and has to be your only ID. Like shun and get rid of everything that falsely represents or brings another God or another ideology or a different way of doing things into your life. I'm going to say this and I'm done. Divorce it, but not only divorce it. Plan and orchestrate his funeral. Y'all know what this is, the wheelhouse. Peace. Drive the idols out.